Hey, Sean, it's just like it sounds. I field questions from the tribe, and they usually start the question with the words, Hey, Sean. How does a nurse know what specialty area they want to work in? How does a nurse know where they want to go? And better yet, how long do they work as a nurse before they realize it? This was a curious question because in my nursing world, I knew what I wanted to be, where I wanted to go, where I wanted to end up before I finished nursing school. I was one of the lucky ones. I, I, I caught the bug before I graduated. And 13 plus years later, I still freaking love what I do. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you probably heard this story before. I'm going to give you the very short abbreviated version. I was in my critical care rotation of my 18 month diploma program. I think I was into my second or third semester doing my critical care rotation. Prior to that rotation, I thought I was going to just slide right into med surge nursing or orthopedics because I was a certified athletic trainer prior to be a, becoming a nurse. By the end of my critical care rotation, it was as if someone injected me with some sort of stimulant. We're going to say stimulant instead of drug. How's that? I caught the I caught the critical care, I caught the ICU bug and I never turned back. Although there was a, a lapse in my judgment for about three and a half, four months when I worked in orthopedics and realized it was the worst mistake ever. So, so how does one realize which specialty area, which specialty they, they are destined or want to work in? I think this is a two-part answer. The first part is the, is the easy part. You need to figure out what it is you want to not do. What do you not enjoy? What pains you? What is what just sucks the life out of you? Not only sucks the life out of you, but might even turn your stomach or just downright like not sit well or you passionately don't want it in your life. In my universe, in my nursing world, that was pediatrics. Bar none, easiest answer ever, I did not want to take care of the babies. No babies for me. There was a, a shrivel of, there was, there was a small moment in time when I thought I was going to go into OB. True story. Digressing again, sorry. So, what areas of nursing do you know of or have experienced or have heard of that you absolutely know you don't want to do? And you have to base this on personal opinion about yourself or personal experience. Don't base this decision on what other people have told you. I mean, had I listened to what other people were telling me, I would have never went into critical care. I would have I would have stuck with the whole orthopedics and med surge because of my prior experience and my previous knowledge and that There was actually a an instructor that for a lack of a better description in the beginning thought that the ICU was the worst place for me. They changed their mind at the end of my rotation. Just saying. So that's the easy answer. That's the two-part answer. The first portion is easy. What You know what you don't want, don't like, and don't want to do. The second part is a little tougher. If you're like me and you're lucky, you're going to have what I call an aha moment. You're going to have the pearly gates open up for you. You're going to have the light at the end of the tunnel brightly shining in your eye. You're going to have angels singing in the back of your head. Ah. Sorry, digressing again, but... I mean, I hate to say it, yeah, they were, it was kind of one of those, 
holy shit moments for me. Not everybody has them. Sorry. Sometimes you got to you got to put in the work, you got to grind it out, you got to sweat it out and figure out what it is that's working for you. And sometimes you just get downright lucky or you you take bets. Some nurses have followed the recommendations of their peers, of their supervisors, of their mentors. Some nurses have just followed their friends. I think at the end of the day, you gotta give whatever your decision is, you gotta give it 18 months, preferably two years. And I say that because of the honeymoon period. The honeymoon period can last up to nine months, sometimes a year. That's the time when everybody's nice to you. That's the time when everybody hits you with kid gloves. That's the time when you're still getting your feet wet, still trying to learn the ways of the world. It's also the time when that really awesome job turns into a fucking nightmare. So yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta give it 18 months, preferably two years. You gotta wait it out. You gotta figure out if it's it's about you or if it's about the job. And I'm not gonna waste your time. I've done an entire video on the honeymoon period. You should probably look it up on my YouTube channel. I think at the end of the day, you're gonna have to make a list. And you can do this while you're in nursing school. You can do this at any time, any point in your career. Make two columns. The first column is about what you do not want, what you do not like, and what you must avoid at all costs. And the second list, second part of the page, should be about all the things that you're looking for, all the things that interest you, all the things that excite you. Here it is in a nutshell. Pay attention. What job can you perform day in and day out, grueling hours, grueling shifts with no loss in enthusiasm? Which job will you consider not a job? Yeah, that's kind of cheesy. Sorry. Just happens sometimes. I mean, I'm lucky. I do. I love my job. I love where I work. I love the people I work with. I love getting to do what I get to do. I mean, but the, at, the, at the end of the day, I truly enjoy my time off, too. So, there is that. Curious what the tribe has to say about this one. How did you come about? How did you decide what specialty area was meant for you? Leave your message down below.